Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Woman Kay Kaisha. Ada Kay Kaisha. Om Magyana Tamarandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chaksur Militanjana Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Shrimati Bhakti Vedanta Swamaniti Namane Namaste Sarasati Devi Kauravani Pracharine Nirvisesha Sanyavadi Paschacha Deshatarine Panchakaupata Rupyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Patitanam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare so we're reading the Srimad Bhagavatam, sixth canto, and we were on chapter number four, which was the Hamsa Guya prayers offered by Daksha. So Daksha offered prayers which were very pleasing to the Lord, and the Lord congratulated Daksha on his prayers. Mm. And so he knew that Prajapati Daksha was offering the prayers because he wants to procreate the universe. He like he has a desire to produce many children, many offspring. And so the Lord brought uh, a woman, a, a girl who would be a good wife for Daksha, who was, whose womb was very suitable to produce many children. And he brought uh, a girl named Asikni, Asikni, who was the daughter of another Prajapati named Panchajana. And the Lord told Daksha that you'll be able to get, you'll be able to have hundreds of children in the in the womb of this girl. And then the Lord tells Daksha, he said, after. After you give birth, after your wife gives birth to hundreds and even thousands of children, they will also get married and they will also have children of their own. Yeah, they will be influenced by the illusory energy. And by the influence of that illusory energy, they will want to have sex and produce many children. But then the Lord said to Daksha, He said, by my mercy, He said, both you and, and you, your, these children of yours, you'll be able to make presentations in devotion. You'll be able to offer me nice things in devotion. 
，但是呃，主也告诉他们是通过我的仁慈，你们可以繁衍人口，然后把这些作为我奉呈现给我的奉爱的这种礼物。And so after the Lord had spoken like this to Daksha, well, then he disappeared. He left Daksha. Just like Daksha was having a dream, and then we, when you wake up, then nothing there is. The dream is over. It's not real. So the Lord appeared like that to Daksha. 这个景象就像人做了一场梦一样。当你从梦中醒来，一切都消失了。主在大克的面前也是这样。他给大克说完之后，他也就消失了。So now we're going to go on to the next chapter, Chapter Five. Narada Muni gets cursed by Prajapati Daksha. 现在我们进入到第五章，就是 Narada Muni 受到 Prajapati Daksha 的诅咒。So. So Kadeva Goswami is describing this. He's instructing Maharaj Parikshit. So Kadeva Goswami 继续给呃 Maharaj Parikshit 说道 So just like we heard in the previous chapter, Daksha was able to conceive ten thousand sons in the womb of his wife, Asikni. 就像我们在之前所听到的，当时啊，从他的他的妻子阿西克尼的子宫里得到了一万个儿子。So these sons are called the Haryashvas。这些儿子的名字的叫，这些儿子的叫做 Haryashva。Haryashvas meaning ten thousand。意思就是是，意思就是一万个儿子，一万个。So, uh, all of the sons of Daksha, they were all very similar. They were, they were obedient and they were gentle, and they did whatever the father told them. These sons all have the same qualities. They are obedient. They are gentle. They do whatever the father tells them to do. So Daksha, their father. He's a prajapati, and his job is to procreate and fill up the universe. So he told his children, he told his sons, "I want you also to get married and to produce many children." Prajapati Daksha, his work is to produce population. Then he tells his sons, he says, "You also have to produce population, marry, and produce population." So when their father told them like that, then they all understood. That they left home and they went in the direction of the west, and they went to the to, towards the sea. When they heard their father say this, they left home and went to the sea. To Haibiar. To the Haibiar. They went to where the river Sindhu meets the ocean. 在那个地方，新渡河和海洋汇合的地方。So there, there's a place of pilgrimage which is called Narayana Saras. 在那个地方有一个圣地，这个圣地名字叫做 Narayana Sara. And many great yogis and sages, people advanced in spiritual consciousness, live there. 很多圣者以及在灵性知觉上很精进的人住在那个地方。So it's a very holy place, and the Haryashvas, these ten thousand sons of Daksha, they all went there, and they began to、uh, stay there. They were staying there for some time, and they were touching the water and bathing in the water there. Har, um. 当时的一万个儿子哈尔亚什瓦姆都去了那个地方，在那个圣地，他们在湖中触碰这个湖水，在那个湖水中沐浴。And they were regularly touching the water and bathing in the water, so they were getting purified by this. 
通过有规律的在这个河中，在这个湖水中沐浴，他们得到了净化。And they became, they became interested in becoming like a paramahamsa. In other words, they became interested in getting free from material world. 他们开始变得愿意从事 paramahamsa 的这些活动，这也就是意味着他们愿意，他们慢慢的变得解脱了起来。But Their father, Daksha, has already ordered them that their duty is to increase the population. So in order to, in order to meet the desire of their father, Daksha, they began to do great austerities. So, we see this often in the Vedic culture that before the young men will get married, they will first of all have to go and do some austerity. It's important. For young people to purify their senses before they enter into family life. So it happened that when these ten thousand men were all doing some austerities there. At that time, Narada Muni saw them, and he saw that they were doing very nice. He saw they were very good people. They were doing very nice austerities. 有一天，那些有一天，大诗人拿尔的穆尼看到这一万个儿子在那里从事严严酷的苦行的时，他觉得这些人非常好，于是就接近了这些人。But Narada Muni. Understood that they're doing these austerities, and their purpose is just simply to increase the population. Narada Muni also knew their purpose. They were doing austerities to increase the population, but it was just to increase the population. So Narada Muni thought that that's not really worthwhile. It's not. It's not such an important thing to do. So Narada Muni thought that it was not worth while. It's not. It's not such an important thing to do. So Narada Muni comes to talk to them, and to tell, talk to them, and he asks them. He asks them first of all. He said, "Have you ever seen the extremities or the end of the earth? Did you ever see that?" He asks these ten thousand boys. Did you not see the end of the earth? Narada Muni 就对这些这一万个儿子说。他们就问到，问到这个一万个儿子说：“你们有没有看到地球的极端呢 ？”And Narada the Muni tells them, he said, "There's a kingdom, and there's only one man lives there." Narada Muni 说：“有一个王国，在那里只有一位男人住在那里。” And there's a hole. Narada Muni said also, there's this hole, and anybody who enters it, nobody comes up. And then Narada Muni says, and there's a woman, and she's very unchaste. 在那里还有一个女子，还有一个女人，那个女人非常的不贞洁。And she covers herself with different kinds of dresses. 她用各种迷人的装饰打扮自己。And there's a man who lives there. He's her husband. He's the husband of this unchaste woman. 居住在那儿的男人是她的丈夫。So in in the kingdom, in that kingdom, there's a river flowing in both directions. In that kingdom, there's a river flowing in both directions. 
And there's a wonderful home which is made out of 25 material elements. And there's a swan that makes beautiful sounds. And there's a, an object which goes round and round and it's made of sharp razors and thunderbolts. Then Narada Muni tells his boys, he said, you have not seen all this. You're not very experienced. You, you boys are inexperienced. So Narada Muni could see that these boys, his 10,000 young men called the Haryaswas, that they'd already become purified because they'd been living in that holy place and he saw they were ready for liberation. So Narada Muni thought, why should we encourage them to go into family life? There's no point for them to go into family life. If they go into family life, that family life is like a hole which is very dark and you go into it, you can't get out. So, uh, this is the analogy Narada Muni was giving them, that, that they shouldn't go into family life. At the same time, he's telling them to look in the core of their hearts and to see the Lord sitting in their heart, Lord Vishnu. And if they look in their heart, then they will be more experienced about the world. If we don't look in the heart, if we neglect to look in the heart, then we get more entangled in the material energy. So Narada Muni wanted to get the sons of Prajapati Daksha he wanted to attract their attention towards spiritual realization. He didn't like that they were just simply going to go into material life, get married and be in, be in material life. So, Prahlad Maharaj, he had given the same kind of advice to his father. Prahlad Maharaj, so here you have Narada Muni giving the instruction to 
the sons of Prajapati Daksha. So Prahlad Maharaj's prayer is very nice. A famous verse from the Srimad Bhagavatam, 7th canto, 5th chapter, 5th verse. Tat sadhu manye suravarya dehinan sada samut vignatiyam asat grahat hedvatma patam griham anda kupam vanam gato yad dharam ashrayeta. So Prahlad Maharaj is praying to his father that he should be careful, he shouldn't fall in the well of family life. Prahlad Maharaj he says, family life is less like being in the bottom of a well. There's always so much anxiety. Because we have a temporary material body, there's going to be anxiety. So if we want to get free of this anxiety, we have to be first get free from the family life. And when we give up family life, you have to take shelter of the Supreme Lord, you have to go to Vrindavan. Right. Vanam Vana is the forest. So you have to go into the forest and take shelter. Ashrayeta Dharam Ashrayeta. Take shelter of Lord Krishna in the forest. Vana but in Kali Yuga, people are so lazy, they don't want to even go to the forest. So, Narada Muni told these boys, the 10,000 boys, the Daksha, he told them, he said, better you don't enter into family life. Better you just stay where you are. Don't get attached. So Narada Muni is speaking. And he's telling these boys, he said, you know, your father is omniscient. He knows the future. But the problem is you don't know. You don't know the, or the actual facts. You boys, you don't know what's the actual facts. And if you don't know the real purpose behind your father, what your father is telling you to do, then it's not good for you to do it. You won't be able to create progeny until you understand properly the instructions. So these 10,000 sons of Daksha, they heard the words of Narada Muni very carefully and they considered 
within their minds, they use their intelligence to understand. They decided on their own. Nobody forced them, they made their own decision. So they understood about what Narada Muni was saying to them. They could understand the meaning of his words. First of all, they understood that the earth means the field of activities. Right? That the body is just like a field. So the earth is like the field of activities. And the material body is the result of the living entity's action, the results of our karma is the material body. And because of the body, material body, we get so many different false designations or titles. And this has been going on since the beginning of time. We have had many, many different types of material bodies. And they all cause us to get entangled in the material world. So if, if we're stupid enough to get involved in these material activities, and if we don't look about how to stop these kind of activities, then we won't get any benefit. So Narada Muni had been telling the Haryashvas about ten different subjects, ten different objects or subjects. Narada Muni gave First of all, there's the king and the kingdom. And then there's the river and the house. And then the physical elements. And other, some other things. So the Haryashvas could understand that the living entity, living in the body, is trying to find happiness. But the living entity is so foolish that if he doesn't try to find out how to get free from the material body. So this is, this is a very important verse because everybody in the material world is very caught up in the material body. Just like some, a lot of men, they work all day and all night just for sense gratification. And then animals like pigs and dogs, they're also busy in working for sense gratification all day and night. 
，呃，像像狗和猪这样的动物，它们也是日日夜夜的繁忙着从事感官享受。And even the birds, the the birds and and the beasts, and all the conditioned souls, and they're all engaged in many different activities, but they have no knowledge of the soul. 还有一些飞禽、走兽。以及其他各种受条件限制的生物，他们从事着各种活动，但却对灵魂一无所知。So especially when we get the human body, it's important for us that we hear the instructions coming from great devotees like Narada Muni. 我们从 Narada Muni 那里得到的训训示就是，人类的职，呃 ，Sorry, Guruji. We have to get the instructions from great devotees like Narada Muni. Okay, we should from these great devotees like Narada Muni, 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 from these great devotees like Narada Muni. 但是人们非常的愚蠢，他们只想享受玛雅，只想享受短暂的快乐。They don't know how to get free from the material energy. 他们不知道如何从物质能量之中解脱出来。So earlier we heard about Lord Rishabdev in the fifth canto, and Lord Rishabdev had told us about what we need to do. 在早期佛教法坛第五篇的时候。主 Rishabdev 也说过同样的话，告诉我们应该怎么做。Rishabdev taught how material activities cause the soul to become more entangled in the material world. Rishabdev 主 Rishabdev 告诉我们，这些物质活动只是让我们一次又一次的束缚在这个物质世界之中。So these Haryashvas, they could also understand the teaching of Narada Muni. 这些哈尔亚什瓦什、瓦什们，他们也能够理解那儿的穆尼的教导。So Krishna consciousness movements for the same purpose to bring people out of Maya. Krishna 之觉的目的也是同样的目的，他是希望能够把人从玛雅之中带出来。And we have to understand that yeah, we have to work, we have to work hard, and we have to work hard for self-realization. 我们是得工作，我们也得努力的工作，我们得努力的从，我们得努力的去做觉悟自我的这种工作。We have to get free from the bondage of birth and death. 我们得从生老病死的束缚之中得到解脱。But Maya is so strong and so expert that we all get lost. We get caught by Maya. 但是玛雅非常的强大。他总是给我们设置各种障碍。So sometimes we come to Krishna consciousness movement, but again we fall back into Maya, we fall down, we cannot understand, we don't understand the importance of Krishna consciousness. 有时一个人加入 Krishna 直觉的运动，但是不久之后他又重新回到物质生活之中，堕落。从玛雅之中堕落的，这是因为他没有认识到 Krishna 知觉运动的重要性。So the process of Krishna consciousness is very simple, but it's not easy. Krishna 知觉运动非常的简单，但是呢，并不容易。嗯、mm. ，Just like chanting Hare Krishna is very simple, anybody can do it, but it's not easy to sit and do it. 就像我们唱诵《哈利·克里斯纳》这个曼陀罗，这是非常简单的，但是要做起来并不容易。So Narada Muni said there is a kingdom where there is only one male, one man. Narada Muni 说有一个王国，那个王国只只有一位男性。So the Haryashvas, they understood this. They understood that there's only one enjoyer, and that one enjoyer is the supreme personality of Godhead. 
，帕尔亚什瓦们他们觉悟到这句话的意思是，实际上在整个只有一位真正的享受者，那就是至尊人格上升。And he sees everything everywhere. 他见证着一切，看见所有。And he is full of six opulences, and he is independent of everyone. He is never under the material energy. 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 He is always transcendentally situated. 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 If we don't understand the Supreme Lord through our activities, then even though we work very hard, it's a waste of time. If we cannot understand the Supreme Lord through our activities, then even though we work very hard, it's a waste of time. If we cannot understand the Supreme Lord through our activities, then even though we work very hard, it's a waste of time. If we cannot understand the Supreme Lord through our activities, then even though we work very hard, it's a waste of time. If we cannot understand the Supreme Lord through our activities, then even though we work very hard, it's a waste of time. To get some material benefit, but it's no good. Even we, like cats and dogs, even we work hard at it, if we cannot understand the Supreme Lord, then there is no benefit. So you should, we should understand when Narada Muni mentioned the kingdom, where there's only one parent, so you should, we should understand when Narada Muni mentioned the kingdom, where there's only one person, one king, there's no competitor. Narada Muni mentioned this kingdom. Where there's only one So the spiritual world, in the spiritual world, there's only one enjoyer, one proprietor, the supreme personality of Godhead. In the spiritual world, in the spiritual world, there's only one enjoyer, one proprietor, the supreme personality of Godhead. In the spiritual world, in the spiritual world, there's only one enjoyer, one proprietor. And that supreme personality of Godhead is described that that he is existing on the fourth platform. This supreme personality of Godhead is described that he is existing on the fourth platform. This supreme personality of Godhead is described that he is existing on the fourth platform. This supreme personality of Godhead is described that he is existing on the fourth platform. This supreme personality of Godhead is described that he is existing on the fourth platform. This supreme personality of Godhead is described that he is existing on the fourth platform. This supreme personality of Godhead is described that he is existing on the fourth platform. This supreme personality of Godhead is described that he is existing on the fourth platform. This supreme personality of Godhead is described that he is existing on the fourth platform. This supreme personality of Godhead is described that he is existing on the fourth platform. This supreme personality of Godhead is described That the Lord never takes birth. You know, we are the living entities, and we take birth again and again. But the Supreme Lord, the Supreme Lord, He never takes birth. We, these living entities, we are the Supreme Lord, He never takes birth. We, these living entities, we are the Supreme Lord, He never takes birth. We, these living entities, we are the Supreme Lord. The human beings and the animals, we all have to take birth again and again, and we die again and again because of our ignorance. We, these living entities, for example, we, these humans, and these animals, we have to die again and again, and we have to die again and again and again and again and again and again. But Krishna. He doesn't have to change his body. He doesn't have to die, and he doesn't have to take birth. And if we think Krishna has to take birth and has to die, then we are fools. We're stupid. If we think Krishna. So Narada Muni says that we shouldn't waste our time. We shouldn't waste our time moving from one body to another. Narada Muni, Narada Muni, says, "We don't waste our time in one body to another. We don't waste our time in one body to another. We don't waste our time in one body to another. We don't waste our time in one body to another. We don't waste our time in one body to another." Just like monkeys, they jump from one tree to another tree, but for no benefit. 
就像那个猴子从一个树上跳到另外一个树上，没，它没没有任何意义。So if we move from one body to another in the material world, there is no benefit. 如果我们从一个在这个物质世界从一个躯体换到另外一个躯体，也是毫无意义的一件事情。The real duty of the human life is to understand the personality of Godhead. 人体生命的真正目的是为了了解至尊人格受身。So Narada Muni also had told that there's a hole from which you enter, nobody comes out. Nobody come, can, can get out. And the Haryasvas, they understood this, that the people who enter the lower planets, the, the, there's a planet in the bottom of the universe called Patala Loka, and if they go there, they never come back. Narada Muni, these Haryasva, they understood that they understood that Narada Muni's meaning is that some people, if they enter into Patala, these lower planets, they will not come back to Earth again. And it's also said, if you enter, if we go to Vaikuntha in the spiritual world, then we never come back to the material world. So the Haryasvas understood that if there's a place which we can go to and we don't have to come back to the material world, then there's no need to stay in this material world. Haryasva, they understood that if there's such a place, and there's no benefit to stay in the material world. So in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna also said, there's a place where we can go in the spiritual world we don't have to come back to this material world. And Krishna said in the Bhagavad Gita, what we need to do to go there. We have to understand Krishna's birth and activities to be transcendental. Then we can go there. Yeah. Krishna is the supreme person and he doesn't have to come to this material world. And if we can understand Krishna, then we can also go to the spiritual world and be with Krishna. So why do people not care about the why do people all come back to the material world. They're taking so many different births, different species of life. There's no benefit in wasting all this time. So in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says the real yogis they will never come back to the material world. Krishna in Bhagavad Gita says the real yogis they will never come back to the material world. We should want to get free from the birth and death. 
We should want to go and live with Krishna in the spiritual world. So the these sons of Daksha, they they're they're saying, there's no use of just performing these material fruitive activities. Then another thing Narada Muni had described, he described there was a woman who was like a professional prostitute. So the Haryashvas understood this, who this woman was. And they understood it, it is just like the intelligence of a person in the material world who is very much affected by the mode of passion. So our intelligence is just like a prostitute. Just like this prostitute, she's always changing her dresses to attract people's attention. So the same way, our mind is always changing, trying to enjoy. So people, when they do so many material activities, trying to enjoy material life, but there's no benefit, no profit. So Srila Prabhupada describes about when a woman becomes a prostitute. He said if a woman has no husband and she says she's independent and that she then she becomes like a prostitute. Just like prostitutes also, they like to dress themselves in different ways just to attract the man's attention. And Prabhupada remarks, he said, just like we see women today, they like to go almost naked just to attract the men. So when our intelligence, when we use our intelligence just to attract people in that kind of way, then that's like a prostitute. If we don't use our intelligence to go to Krishna, then it's, it's useless. We're simply just like, just like a prostitute in the material world. So there's, you may have some intelligence, but that intelligence is all wasted for material sense gratification. So real intelligence means to find out the way so that we don't have to keep taking birth and death in the material world. So, 
寻求如何不要在这个物质世界生死轮回。In the material world, you get karmis. They change their occupations every moment. One day after, quickly they'll change for third. One short time, they'll move on to another job. They change their jobs. But a Krishna conscious devotee. He will not change because his he, his only business, his only job is to attract Krishna. And we will try to attract Krishna by chanting Hare Krishna mantra, and by living very simple life. We And we won't worry about the different fashions. We're not going to change just because the fashion changes. We won't worry about the different fashions. We're not going to change just because the fashion changes. We won't worry about the different fashions. We're not going to change just because the fashion changes. We won't worry about the different fashions. We're not going to change just because the fashion changes. We'll teach them to wear the dress of a Vaishnava, and the men should shave their head and put on tilak. Everyone should put tilak on their face and on their body. And they should be always clean in their mind and in their dress also. And they should eat only to be in Krishna consciousness. They should only eat prasadam. But if we sometimes have long hair and grow a beard, then that's not. What's the good of that? It's not good. If we have long hair, 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 We should always be in Krishna consciousness and be steady, and be very determined to stay in Krishna consciousness. We should think of Krishna consciousness as the real cure for all the disease of material life. Then Narada Muni had also spoken about one man who was the husband of the prostitute. Narada Muni had also spoken about one man who was the husband of the prostitute. So Hayasvas, they could understand that if if. The husband of the prost. If one becomes the husband of a prostitute, then he has no more independent. He's not independent. If a living entity, if his intelligence becomes contaminated, then You're going to increase his materialistic life. Because of the influence of material nature, he will follow the direction of his intelligence. Because in the material influence, he will follow his. Sorry, Guru. He will fall. He will. Yeah. He, if, because he's frustrated by the material nature, he's trying to enjoy the material nature. 
So he tries to, he listens to his intelligence and sometimes he gets happiness, sometimes distress. So if we do karmic activities like this, there's no benefit. So contaminated intelligence is like a prostitute. And if we don't purify our intelligence, then we're controlled by that prostitute. And Krishna describes how in the Bhagavad Gita, when somebody is actually serious about devotional service, then he's very fixed. He doesn't listen to the mind. Yeah, Krishna says, Vaya Vasayatmika Buddhi Ekeha Kuru Nandana. Those who are on this path. A resolute in intelligence and their aim is one. So they just have one kind of intelligence, and that is intelligence and Krishna consciousness. But once People who are not fixed in Krishna consciousness, then they have many goals. So they go to different conditions of life, one after the other. So he gets sometimes happiness, sometimes distress. If a man becomes a husband, if the man is the husband of a prostitute, if his wife is like a prostitute, he won't be happy. And the same way, if somebody just listens to the, whatever his mind or material intelligence is said, then you'll never be happy. We have to understand the material nature. We're controlled. We're, we, 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 we're controlled by this material nature. But we're thinking we're the controller. Just like scientists, they're trying to control the material nature, but at the same time they're controlled, they're dying. They cannot understand that there's a Supreme Personality of Godhead over everything, controlling everything, and they're also under the control of that Supreme Personality of Godhead. They try to be the master of the material nature, but they're just cheating, they're just pre pretending. They cannot control. And sometimes they will tell the public, they will say to the people that very soon we're going to be able to control everything. We won't need, we don't need a God. 
我们很快就能解决问题，我们很快就能控制着这一切，我们再也不需要神了。But the, these same people, they're forced to associate with their contaminated intelligence. And the result is they have to take birth after birth in the material world. Sometimes good and sometimes bad. And so, if, if we, if somebody just engages in these material fruit of activities, he never gets anywhere. He don't he doesn't solve the problem of life. Okay. So we'll stop here. We'll ask if there's any question. Okay. Uh, first question from uh, I think in the general form. Ding Bai Guru, Ding Bai Fan Yi. What? Oh, this is not Das from Das. Ding Bai Guru, Ding Bai Fan Yi. I did some hours of preparation, preparing. I was planning to open the temple when I opened it. My mother ate a piece of the temple. 还能供奉吗？怎么好呢？在打开神坛时，打开神坛时，我家保姆吃了一块满曲奇，还能供奉吗？怎么办？ Obeisance to Guru, I I I do, um, about many kilos of the cookies. I want to distribute them, but when I open in the um uh, altar, my uh my helper. He, uh, she eat one of the cookie. So can I offer this cookie now? How can I do? Oh. She had one cookie before they were offered. Yeah, I think. Not, not she is the na uh, nanny. Nanny. Nurse. Nurse. Yeah, nanny. Mm. Baumu. Dui Baumu. Mm. Oh. Oh, it's, it's not very good. But anyway, uh, I mean, you cooked a lot of cookies, you have to offer them. You have to be very careful, you see. You have people around there who are not devotees, and if they take things like that, then it's, it makes it very difficult for you to cook for Krishna. So you have to be careful. Be careful around your surroundings. If your surroundings are doing this, then to be careful. Be careful around your surroundings. If your surroundings are doing this, then to be careful. Be careful around your surroundings. If your surroundings are doing this, then to be yeah, that's a custom in the temple that anything cooked, it's, it's only seen by the cooks, it's not seen by other people until it, after it's offered. So, in that circumstance, you can offer to Krishna, but you have to tell Krishna, I'm sorry that somebody ate one before I could offer everything. Mm. And in future, we'll be very careful not to let that happen again. Okay. Okay. Next question from Hanivamsa Prabhu. Dimbai Guru, Krishna 
a basis to guru, how can I make my intelligence always focus on Krishna consciousness? Is that uh, just a very serious focus on the sadhana rules? Yes, that's the main thing. You have to focus on Krishna. Your sadhana is very, very important. You have to be very serious, you have to really want to be Krishna conscious. And the family members, they should also encourage you. Wife should also want to be very Krishna conscious. So every everything depends on the desire, how much you want to be Krishna conscious. So one devotee from America was describing about how, you know, some people in America, you know, they're often overweight, you know, they're big and they put on a lot of weight, they get very fat and it's difficult for them to lose weight. So they, they have these uh, special studios where they go to, where they have to, you know, they have to do things, they give them different things to do to help them to lose weight. But they have a big sign up in the room where they are and the, the big sign says you have to really want to do it. So the, it's the same thing with Krishna consciousness. We have to really want to be Krishna conscious. You're not looking for any material sense gratification. You just want to be you just want to be Krishna conscious. So you have to make some sacrifices, some you have to do it, you have to make sacrifices. You know, you have to, you have to be willing to uh, regulate your senses. You have to chant. You have to hear about Krishna. You have to make Krishna consciousness the center of your activities. Intern sometimes it has to be internally and sometimes you can do it externally. Sometimes you're with devotees and you can be a devotee, you don't have to hide anything, you can just chant and you can talk about Krishna. And sometimes you're with people who are not devotees and who are not interested in Krishna consciousness. 
and you just have to keep your Krishna consciousness inside. Great. In your heart, you're thinking of Krishna. But externally, you're just like them. So you have to be Krishna conscious 24 hours a day. Okay. Okay. Next question from Mandavan Dasi. So today's uh, lecture, um, what the prostitute symb symbolize? The prostitute symbolizes contaminated intelligence. When our intelligence is only thinking about sense gratification, then that is like the prostitute. And just like the some women, they like to dress in different clothes and they will dress clothes just to attract men. So also, sometimes the intelligence will do like that. Yeah, we will change our dress, we will, we will put on different clothes for different purpose just to attract the opposite sex. So our intelligence also can be like that, can be very varied, it can go to different places and think about different things. Becomes just like the prostitute. So Prabhupada quoted the verse from the Bhagavad Gita, Vaya Vasayatmika Bhuti Ekeha Kurunandana. Said those who are on this path are resolute in intelligence and their aim is one. So the good devotee, one who has purified the intelligence, they're only thinking about Krishna. But those whose intelligence is not purified, they think about many things. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Bahu Sakahi Anantasya Budayo Vayavasayanam. Those who are irresolute in intelligence, their, their intelligence are many branched. The prostitute, she's not just thinking one man, she likes many men. Anybody can be her customer, just pay her the money. So, this is the contaminated intelligence. Mind is not fixed. Now, can you understand? 
现在你能够理解吗？ Later, she also have question. Okay. Okay. And、uh, and the next question is also from Honey Wangsa. 怎样让自己非怎样让自己非常渴望具有 Krishna 直觉？严格的规范原则可以让自己变得非常渴望吗？ Uh, have asked, how can I make make myself very eager on Krishna consciousness? Is that the very serious sadhana can make myself become very eager? Well, you have to become very serious. You have to become very very determined that you want to be Krishna conscious. You can become very serious and very determined. And when you say no to sense gratification, then that's a start. You have to be able to say no to sense gratification. A friend is coming and saying, "Let's go to movies. I'll take you to cinema," and you say, "No." I'm going home to chant Hare Krishna. 有朋友跟你说，今天我们出去玩一下，去看个电影吧。你得说 No， 我你得说不，我今天要唱诵 Hare Krishna.、Mm -hmm. I want to go home and do RT. I have to want to go home and read Srimad Bhagavatam. 我想回家做 RT。我想回家阅读圣典佛教法坛。So we have to become strong in our desire. We must be in our wants to become very strong, 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 strong. Nobody can do it for you. You have to do it yourself. No one can do it for you. You have to do it yourself. You have to know. You have to know how important it is. 而且你也得知，你也得理解，你你你得觉悟到。这个事情它的重要性。嗯哼。OK， next question also from Ben Damon Dasi。婚姻生活既然是黑洞，为什么还有这么多的人勇往直前的冲向黑洞呢？嗯、um, ， the marriage life is like the black hole， so why so many people？ They run into this black hole. Well, it's not that everybody goes in the black hole just because they're married. If they're good devotees, then they don't. 不是说每一个人的婚姻生活都是黑洞。如果他是一个，如果他们是一个很好的奉献者的话，他们的婚姻生活不是黑洞。You just have to control the senses and control the mind. 你只需要控制你的感官，控制你的心意。Married life is 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 a very safe and secure ashram. 婚姻生活是一个非常安全、安全的地带，也是一个非常安全的地带。Other people, people in the other ashrams, you know, the brahmacharis and the sannyasis, they're not so secure. They're not so safe as the grihastas. 像那些 Brahmacharya 遵守生阶段，还有 Sannyasin 阶段的这些，他们阶段的这些生活，事实上他们并没有居士生活这么的安全。So Grihastha is very safe, and the man is very safe when he's with his wife. If he doesn't have his wife, he can become a victim to so many other women. 如果一个男人和他的妻子在一起的话，他是会非常的安全的。如果一个男人不和他的妻子在一起的话，他会受到很多女人的攻击。And can, he can become very fallen. 他他可能会成为很多女人的目标，他可能会变得非常的堕落。But when he has a wife, then the wife will set his wife is there to be with the man to help him to give him strength. 如果他有一个妻子，他和他的妻子在一起的话。
And so we have many great devotees who are in household alike. If you look at the Mahajans, the twelve Mahajans, many of them are householders. So it's not that everybody who goes into married life goes in the dark well. But you have a choice. Which way do you want to go? Do you just want to have sense gratification or do you want to control the senses? So Prabhupada said married life is meant you people are meant to control the senses. It's not for unrestricted sense gratification. Married life can also be like there is also such a grihasta brahmachari life or brahmachari grihasta. Yeah, when people when the husband will try to have union with his wife just to conceive a child, he will have union with the wife during the time when her womb is fertile, so that she can conceive a child. That is brahmachari life. Um, so we want house we have how we have many householders like that in our Krishna consciousness movement. They're very regulated, very strict in their relationships. They're a very good example for all the other householders. So we want to have we we want to have household devotees like that who are all examples in ideal family life. So there are many great devotees who were married. Lord Chaitanya's associates, most of them were married. Lord Nityananda Prabhu was married. He had two wives. Advaita Acharya was married. He had six sons. And uh, Srivas Thakur was married man. So there are many, many great devotees who were all in family life. Prabhupada himself was in family life. Bhakti Vinod Thakur was married. He had 13 children. But they were great devotees. So don't think everybody in family life is in the well. It's not true. Of course, material pe materialistic people, they're in the well, 
but our devotees, most of our devotees are not. Women, women in general, they need to be protected. So the men, they take a responsibility by taking, by getting married, they accept responsibility for a wife. Okay. Okay. That's all the question. Hari Vamsa. Hari Vamsa. Is it, uh, okay. is, is it clear? Are you clear now? Hari Vam. Oh, this question is from Vrindavan Dasi. Vrindavan Dasi. Yes. Just the, uh, before she, uh, she asked the, what is the prostitute of simple life? Is that Vrindavan Ishwari? I don't know. She said that she understood, understand. Now she understands. Now she understand. Yeah, and the Hani Vamsa also said clear. Mm -hmm. Hani Vamsa said, uh, my question is clear, but my, my wife has a question. Okay, what's his wife's question? Govinda Nandini, Nikke Shochulai, Nikke Changhua. Bushiao does it. Hari Wamsa, you can just speak. Okay, 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 Oh, Hare Krishna, and um, Thank you. Yeah, you have to get association. You have to get it. It's very important. Uh, her question is, uh, whether should I go out for association or whether should I organize association? Well, one way or the other, you have to get association. Either you go out... 不管是, 不管是你出去联谊, 还是你自己组织联谊, 反正这个结果是你要有联谊, I know it's difficult when you have a child. But at least it may, it may be difficult for the child to be quiet when there's a class going on, but at least when there's kirtan, you should be able to join in the kirtan. And you should be having a lot of kirtan, you should be hearing a lot of kirtan. When you're at home, you should be playing kirtan all the time. It's very important for you to be hearing. You need to hear the holy name. You can get a lot of kirtans nowadays on the internet. You go on the internet and you see a lot of devotees singing, dancing. And sometimes you should go out. You should get out. Sometimes you have to go. 
，或者有一些时候你也可以出去，你应该出去。有一些时候 ，You've been staying there. <coughs> You've been staying in that town. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. You've been staying in that town, and you didn't make any. <coughs> you didn't make any devotees yet. You have to get some devotees. You 在那个城镇里面待了很长时间了，但是你们并没有发展奉献者。你并没有那里并没有奉献者。你们得有一些奉献者。So you have to go to other towns and get association. So you may or can go to other towns and get association. Or you have to ask people to come and give you association. Or you have to ask people to come and give you association. Or you have to ask people to come and give you association. Or you have to ask people to come and give you association. Or you have to ask people to come and give you association. They can come, you know, like Yamuna Madhiji and other ladies there. You can let some young ladies come to participate in your association, like Yamuna Madhiji. Different people. You have to get some people who you're friendly with. Get them to come. Or you let some friends or good friends come to your association. But you need to get association. Then you must have a name. Of course, or you get you you have you have your mobile phone. You have you can get you can talk to people. You can always be in touch with people on your mobile phone. 当然，你有手机，你可以总是和人们通过手机保持着联系。You have to find some way to get association. 你得找到，你得找到一些方式得到联谊。And you want to get association with people. Similar to you, you know, you about your age, and who you know maybe in family life, and who may also have a child, so they can understand something about your situation. You can also find some who have similar experiences. For example, they are also in marriage life, and have a child. They can understand your situation. It's very important. You've got to get some association. You should have to. Maybe you can invite people to come over from other cities to come and stay with you sometimes when there's a holiday. 或许在假期的时候，你也可以邀请一些朋友来到你们的城市和你们住一段时间。Either you go to them, or you, they have to come to you. 如果你去不了他们那边的话，你可以让他们来你们这儿。那 usually you go to another town, you find some some people who are interested. You make somebody a devotee. Get some people together. Usually, you go to other cities. You will meet some people, and then you meet some devotees. You've been staying in that town, that town for some time now. You should. You must. Have, you must know people. 
你已经和他们待了一段时间，你一定知道他们。You should, you should be breaking, bringing some people into Krishna consciousness. 就是说，你在你的城市已经待了那么长时间了，你一定是知道一些人的，然后让这些人和你们在一起，然后让他们成为奉献者。Even though they may not be very strict, but they should have some interest. 即便他们不那么严格，他们也许会有一些兴趣。OK, so OK. That's my advice to you. Now there was that one boy. His mother was in Shenzhen. His mother was in Dongguan. Remember, his mother was a devotee, and the boy was also interested. And he moved to over there. Did you ever meet him? There有一个男，有一个男孩，他的他的母亲在东莞还是深圳？你见过他吗？哈里王姆萨。哈里王姆萨，嗯。哦，是是哪哪哪个？就是这个。他说他的这个姑姑说他他的母亲在东莞还是深圳，这也是个男孩，可能去到你们城市。他是一个，他的母亲是瑜伽老师。他的母亲到我们城市，到南昌吗？儿子去了南昌。不知道，不知道哎。南昌还没听，就是没听到过有有人来这边，就是有另外一个城市有有呃几个年长的奉献者，但是离我们有一段距离。南昌的话没听说。Okay. Anyway, okay. One more little here. So, nem tak naga tifang di nem do yuan. How many? One hour. One hour by driving car. Go. 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 Tak makan ni lain sih mah. Kami ini pun lagi sedih. So, ini pun lagi sedih. So, kenapa? Sa. So, kenapa? Tak jadi tu pun kau lagi. Kiri kiri kau lagi. Kiri kiri kau lagi. Tanpa aku, tu tu yang tiga anak. Oh, oh, oh. Dia, eh, dia sekarang adalah kita di sini bagian timur dari pasukan Jiangxi. 他，我帕布刚刚说他一一嗯过节的时候会来这边联谊。那好，过节的时候。他已经来过吗？我帕布去他那边联谊过一次，然后那个帕布也来我们这边两次。好好。他也比较忙，可能嗯。时间也不一定允许，有可能我们需要过去，可能。嗯。<笑>但我们这边有有几个新人是谭摩书院的，有两三个奉献者。哦，很好。很有热情。嗯。
他们都是、呃、都是 new day， new day。对对，有呃两个妈大姐，嗯、呃，呃，一个 prabhu， 呃两两个妈大姐，还有一一个呃没有爬不了，有有，还有一个是以前。以前的那个，乌玛帕蒂，呃，马哈拉吉的门徒，嗯、呃，时间很长的一个马达吉，嗯、呃，就就只有这三个人，最近是我们，嗯，跟他们一起联谊，嗯嗯、呃，但是我们两个可能没有做好榜样，就是联谊的时候也，也、呃、嗯，也会觉得。做的不太好，他们可能也，呃，联就是联谊的状状态不是特别好。嗯。呃、但是比没有联谊强强很多。我也希望，呃，接下来能够我们能够合作好，能够去服务他们。嗯。好。现在够报多的。一岁五个月，他也很喜欢联谊，很喜欢唱诵，听唱诵。他他会说话。OK， 好，感谢您。谢谢咕噜的人 ，Hare Krishna，Hare Krishna， 多保重。好的，您您也多保重。好，我们感谢苏布里来给我们今天的翻译，感谢所有的奉献者聆听。Hare Krishna， Shri Prabhupada， 我们也感谢 Good Day 的精彩的网课，感谢所有奉献者聆听。那今天我们网课就到这里了 ，Hare Krishna。Hare Krishna